hi guys let's do this excellence question is from complex number exam and it is 2015 3e uh, find each of the roots of the equation z5 minus 1 equals to 0 that's the first part and let p be the root so let's do the first part first and then we'll go to the second so the first one says c to the power of 5 minus 1 is equals to 0 and we have to find the each root right so here we will have five roots right because the highest power of z is 5 so we will have five roots so we can write it as z is equals to z to the power 5 equals to 1 right and we know that 1 because it is a real number we will have 1 in the polar form it will be 1 cis 0 degrees right why is that because 1 is your r value cos 0 degree is 1 plus i sine 0 degree is 0 right so this will give us 1 cos 0 is 1 plus i sine 0 is 0 and that will give us 1 right so whenever we have one that is because this is for the real when the real number is one when there is no imaginary value right so this is how we'll convert it to uh, polar form now that we have z5 is equals to one cos theta we can do z is equals to q uh, fifth root of one cis 0 over 5 right so this is using d moivar's theorem right so using d moivar's theorem z is equals to that which will give us z equals to 1 cis 0 over 5 right and then to get multiple roots we add we add 2k pi to it where k can be any real value k belongs to any real value all right so here now if we keep changing the value of k that will give us different roots so we'll start with let k is equals to zero so z1 will be equals to one cis that is zero so the whole numerator is zero zero over five is zero is zero is one right then we find z2 that will be equal to 1 cis now if we have k is equals to 1 when k is 1 this will become 2 pi so we have 2 pi over 5 right you can leave it there that's absolutely right if you want you can expand it you can write 1 cos 2 pi over 5 plus i sine 2 pi over 5 and using this you can find the right rectangular form if you want but it's absolutely okay to leave it here right because they haven't asked you in a rectangular form or in a polar form they have just asked you to find all the roots so you can leave the roots there then you put k is equals to 2 z q uh, 3 is equals to 1 cis now this time it's going to be 4 pi over 5 then k is equals to 3 will give us z4 which is 1 says 6 pi over 5 and c5 is when k is equals to 4 will give us 1 says 8 pi over 5 right again if you want to give it in rectangular form you can convert it into rectangular form but this is absolutely fine to leave it here right and these are your five values or five roots that they are asking for right so these are the five roots now let's see what the second part is asking so the second part is saying let p be the root in part one where the smallest possible positive argument uh, with the smallest positive argument all right argument is the angle in this case all right smallest positive argument is not zero right it is an angle it is a positive angle and that is our z2 here this is p 
pay with the smallest positive argument right show that the roots in part 1 can be written as 1 p p square p cube and p4 all right so now we have to convert all these in terms of p all right so now the second part p is equals to 1 cis 2 pi over 5 all right so they are saying that 1 p p square p cube and p4 are all of these above roots right so let's find p square that will be 1 cis 2 pi over 5 square all right so whenever we do square again using de Moivre's theorem we will have 1 square cis 2 times 2 pi over 5 the power is multiplied with the angle so that is going to give us 1 cis 4 pi over 5 yeah and this is equals to this is equals to z3 right this was our z2 so we already had z2 now we have z3 let's do p cube p cube is equals to 1 cis 2 pi over 5 whole cube that will give us 1 cube cis 3 times 2 pi over 5, which gives us 1 cis 6 pi over 5. That is p cube. And we have that as z4. So this is equals to z4. Right. And now p4. So p uh, to the power of 4 is 1 cis 2 pi over 5 to the power of 4 is equals to 1 to the power of 4 cis 4 times 2 pi over 5 which will give us 1 cis 8 pi over 5 and this is equals to z5 right z5 right now we are only left with 1 which is 1 right and we know that the only thing left here is also one all right which is one so that is already one so we don't have to do anything so all those values all these roots can be written in terms of p and these will be all the roots one p p square p cube and p4 all right cool this wasn't that bad we're done have a good day